Hello everyone, and welcome back for the continuation of our Hollow Knight playthrough. Yes, it was over a week ago now when I thought I'd beat the game, which I kind of did. But there are lots of endings to Hollow Knight. I do feel like the list of things that I still need to accomplish and try to do in this game is so long. So I have to just pick some things to start with to see if we can wrap up those loose ends. First on my list though, is we're gonna try to get the rest of the grubs. There's only five left, I think, and I wanna get them, go back to five, the grub and see if maybe he'll give me another pale ore because if I find one more I can get the next upgrade on my sword. I got a couple ideas of where we might go next after that probably depends on how much time is left. If by some chance this is your first time finding the channel welcome hope you have an awesome time. If you do have a great time it would really help me out if you think about hitting that subscribe button. All right like I said it's been over a week and I'm dying to get some more Hollow Knight action so let's get right to it. Hello everybody. Oh I'm so glad to be back. Oh, I have not touched Hollow Knight in well over a week because originally I thought I'd beat it. Now I found out from people fairly quickly after that that I had not, but I was like, you know what? I'm a good long ways ahead. So I'm gonna take a break here for a while and then that'll be something to look forward to when I come back. Uh, did I read that? Volt Twister? I don't think I read that one. Learned bug that adapted the teachings of the soul sanctum into a deadly fighting art. Attacks with bursts of electricity. Yes, it did. Supposedly lives on a diet of luma flies and spends its entire life fighting in the arena or meditating in seclusion. An odd foe. Yes, I felt like I needed to say it like that. Sound a little more sophisticated. Okay, so here is the plan. For tonight, I want to try to get... Man, look at this. So many of all the way down here in the deep nest. Uh, I did just release, I think it was episode 21, where I actually came over here and had my little spiel with the distant village. And I've had a few people reach out and say, hey, there are some things that you missed down there. So maybe tracking down these grubs will help me find some of those things. Now, I do know there's a black barrier, I think right here, which I don't know how to get past those yet. Um, so we got three down there. I'm almost certain. Oh, yeah. Here's the other two up here in Crystal Peaks. Is that it? So our goal is going to be to try to get all five grubs. Now, depending on how long that takes, depends on what I do next. I've debated taking another crack at the Coliseum. I've also debated going back to the God Home to maybe uh, try taking on that at least that first room without putting any challenges on myself to see how I do. Just a couple ideas I got, so we'll see where things go. Uh, also, you know what, actually scratch those things. If we find all the grubs, we're coming up here to Hollow Nest because apparently there is a secret passage in here somewhere that leads to a bunch of DLC content. And I haven't found it yet. That would probably be a good thing to find because uh, as of right now, I'm sitting at, oh, there it is, 84% completion. And what I was told is 100% uh, complete doesn't actually complete the game that the developers, when they added the DLC, they just kept the percent going up. So I guess 112%, I think is what I was told, is what completes the the full percentage. So uh, I need to find that area because apparently there's quite a bit of stuff up there for me as well. So yeah, that's the plan. I think it sounds like fun. Uh, I would definitely say we're going to go deep nest first because we are a lot closer. I wonder, should I go to the Queen Station? <laughs> yeah, let's ride over to Queen Station, right here, and let's go down this way. I think that's gonna be our quickest way. But the, the trick here is I don't know which way I need to go to get to this grub. I don't see an opening anywhere. Hmm. All right, well, we're going to go down this path here. I think that's going to be our best bet. So first things first. Oh, I'm so glad. I, I got to tell you, I was I was so bummed about the story when I, I got that ending. Because remember, I recorded those last three videos all the same night. Uh, I, And that's another reason why I think I got wore out in the Coliseum, because... Oh, I'll hit this real quick. 
because I had a lot of big fights in those three episodes. And uh, and so the way the story wrapped up, I was like, you know, I, I really liked the game, but the story was kind of odd, you know? It didn't really answer. I had so many questions, and I've been told by by several of you that I'm asking the right questions, and as I get more information and get some more endings, it'll begin to make sense. I was like, okay, that make me feel that made me feel better because now I'm like, okay, we can get ourselves a good ending. Just checking these. I think I've already checked these already, but so I was like, okay, get an awesome ending to go with an awesome game. That's what I want. Okay, we're gonna go down. Ba Boom. Oh, you know what? I think someone did tell me also, if I put on that... Well, they just said if you put on a specific charm, which I'm assuming is the mushroom charm, this thing will talk to me, give me more information. There's nothing over here, is there? So, uh, I don't have it on me at the moment, but if I do come back through here with it on, I will try to do so. Oh, I have been looking forward to tonight. This game has been fantastic. I was almost sad it was over. Even with the ending that I got, I wasn't happy with the ending, but I was I was sad it was over. I was like, no, this game's been amazing. I don't want it to end. We know it's going to happen sooner or later. I just wasn't ready for it yet. Uh, here at some point, actually, I'm going to have to start thinking about what's going to be next, what games I'm going to put in my poll. I did just pick up the uh, the Resident Evil woo, uh, 7 and 8, because I, I had a lot of people say that they would love to see a playthrough of that, and it actually got a lot of traction, so maybe that will be a direction we go. Although, just so you all know, I'm actually thinking about playing the next Stalker game here real soon. I've had so many people requesting that for far, far too long. Okay. Let's try going this way. Woo! Oh! Is this gonna lead me over to a grub? Whoa! Oh my gosh. <laughs> I forgot. They come right up out of the ground. Okay. Go grubs! You down here anywhere? I'm like checking, checking all the walls I can. It's like straight across here somehow. Aha! Ah. <laughs> I think we found one already. Hello. Oh, someone mentioned. They're like, have you hit one of these with a empty? Wait a second. Kill. <laughs> Home. Empty. This is the one that's saying home. Is it the real one? Oh, are the rest of these? Okay, the grub symbol is gone. These ones must be a trap. <laughs> Should I just leave them? Actually, where am I at on my uh, my log for these things? Ooh, I need three more. This would be perfect. I got a feeling that's what these are. Okay. Uh huh. I thought so. Oh! Oh my goodness! I like wailed it right away. That was not enough. <laughs> yep. Oh, it's an infection thing. I just saw that. Yep, I got you. <laughs> that one straight up said kill. Oh, I got too close. Perfect. Okay. Luring an enemy close by pretending to be a weak little grub. Very cunning. Unfortunately for them, I eat these grubs as soon as I see them. <laughs> he ain't too picky. Okay, so I have 123 out of 148 that I've completed. 
Is there any, or are there any, I guess I should say, down here in the spider area that I have not finished off yet? Let's, let's do a quick check if I can find them. Okay, from what I can tell, I think these were over in this area. This is the only one that I have not finished off. And I'm almost certain there was one of these up by the, uh, all the way up here where I got the tram card. Like right through this bench right here. I'm almost certain there was one of those right there. So I could probably keep going back and forth to get a new one. So we might try to finish that off while we're in the area. Any other spots that's weak here? I mean, there's a, there's a pretty decent space available. Ooh, I just, I just noticed too. Oh, it's not showing it on here. But it showed it here. It looks like there's a space that goes down right there where the fungal waste is at. Hmm. Oh. Oh, no, I think the... I just broke something. <laughs> that freaks me out sometimes. I think I found something. Okay. Ooh. Ugh. an opening? Nope. Gotcha. Nothing there. Okay. Well, that must be on over. Oh, boy. Got him. Before he even came up. Oh. Must have already finished whatever was over there. Man, I forgot how noisy this place can be. All right, nothing there. Where are we at now? Okay, so we need to kind of work our way down a little bit. In fact, we might head over to that bench. That might be the next best place to go. Oh. Is it safe over here? Because this sure doesn't look safe to me. Oh, looks like I need to go down this way. Oh, too early. I feel like there's definitely some areas through here I probably didn't get to finish exploring. But it's such a maze. Like, I feel like there's a room or something above me here. Maybe not. Eh, well, I guess it's the room I might have just come down. Maybe that's what I'm seeing. Oh, boy. Uh, I guess I got to go on this side. Whoop. There we go. Whoa, look how fast that was. He's late for a meeting. Checking for loose walls. If I sound like I'm screaming now, it's because I can't hear myself any longer. I apologize. Whoop. Boink. Anything back this way? Whew. At least it's a little quieter. Oh, fungal waste. Wow, did I not go up? Or... You know what? I want to check that real quick. What? Well, I say real quick, like I can just run over there and, and do this, no problem. This is the room, though, that I think is like a big maze. And I'm not certain I've checked everything. Anything? Ba-boom! Going down. Whoa. Nope, nothing through there. Up and over. Nope, nothing through there. Schmack. I can't even hear myself think. Oh! Oh! <laughs> that was close. I saw these. I was like, ooh! Geos! I have problems. I'm obsessed with geos. Okay. 
What is this way? Okay. Not over there. Whoa! Oh, I got lucky there. I'm wondering if I just didn't have all the abilities I needed to be able to get up into this space up here that I'm seeing on the map. And I want to know. Oh. Oh, I can't. Even with my abilities, I can't get up there. Is that something I dropped through? Oh. Oh, this is the spot where... Oh, no, I was thinking of this over here. Huh. That's pretty wild that you, you can't get back up there. It's a one-way trip. Well, how far around is it to get to that drop? Because now I'm, like, really curious what's... Because I don't remember it. I'm getting off target. This is not good. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm going to hold to the course. I found some geos that I hadn't found before, so it's not a completely wasted trip. But I'm definitely getting myself distracted at this point. I really want to get all the grubs. That's the main goal of this episode. Okay. Oh, fun fact. Tomorrow, I am getting a wisdom tooth pulled. Very much looking forward to that. So this might be the last bit of recording I get to do for, for a little while. You hear a bunch of horror stories with the wisdom tooth thing. It's like you hear some people are like, eh, it's not so bad. You, you kind of get back on your feet in a couple days. And then you hear about other people who ended up like dry socket and they were miserable for weeks and they had to go back to the dentist multiple times. And I'm like, whoa. So you kind of, I, I don't really know how to brace for it. It's like, which, which experience am I going to have? Ooh, I got them both. Like that little turnaround swing I did. But yeah, so unfortunately, I'm going to be a little dumber on the next night I get to record. You know, because they're pulling the wisdom tooth. Means the corny jokes are going to be even cornier. Oh, yeah! Everybody in the comment section says, yay! Because you know that's why you're here. That's why you're here for the corn. Oh boy. Okay. I need to go across. Assuming I can get across. Okay. Yes. Up. This is where I want to go. Oh, it's so much quieter all of a sudden. Ba boom! Ah. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Well, we got a little spiel that way now. Okay, let's come over here and see if that creature that I was thinking about is over here. Yep, there it is. Boom! You didn't even get one out, did you? Got another. That's two. I need one more. Where are you at? Oh, you know what? That might actually be all that's... Available here at the moment. All right, I got me some extra lives. There's one. Ooh! I'll get my logs and leave. My geos. Okay, let's check that one out now. I'm just gonna find it. Here we are, the Carver Hatcher. Are these creatures the mothers of the dirt carvers? They appear only loosely related. But then how do the dirt carvers get inside of the hatchers? A confusing situation. Awesome. Well, that wraps up the hunter's log for this space, at least that I'm aware of. Okay, let's navigate here. I need to go back to the right. Uh, basically where the bench is at and then just start going down. It's funny. You, I, I'm so glad they have that map because if it weren't for that map, once I found the ones that were over there in the the hive, 
and the edge of the kingdom, I'd have been like, where could they be? I've gotten them all. You know, that would have been my mindset. But the map shows you where they're at, and I'm like, man, I walked right by some of those. Now, the ones in Deep Nest, I kind of, I don't hold that one against me because this place is such a confusing mess as it is. It's loud, it's dark, it's hard to see. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to beat myself up over missing these ones. But the ones in Crystal Peak, I was kind of shocked by that. I thought I'd checked all that really thoroughly. Okay. It's kind of like right down below me here. Is there a weak floor? I am right above it. Excuse me. Pardon me. Must be down here somewhere. Oh, I hear it now. Whoop. Got ya. Let's try jetting across here. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm here for you, bug. There goes another one. Oh, it's nothing but an open pit. Oh, that was close. All right, continuing. Ooh, uh, oh, don't you spit at me. I don't need any more of you for my log, so I'm fine with just leaving you guys alone if you're fine with leaving me alone. Does not appear to be the case. Wait a minute, is this where the bugs like come back? I don't remember where that area was. Oh, I missed. Missed my platform. Okay. It looks like it might be. Oh! Ah, ha, ha, ha. The grubs are showing me secrets. Hello! Are you the real deal? You are the real deal. Anything else down here? It just seems like a room that would still have more to it. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess I'm done with uh, the deep nest portion of this at the moment. Uh, I did have some people suggest that I go back to Dirt Mouth because there's definitely uh, some people, I guess, if I talk up, talk to them up there now, whoa, they might have some information for me. So we're going to try to find our way to that. I think... I think taking the tram across might be the quickest way to get back up top. Although I guess I could keep going left and take the stag. That would be nice if I could go that route. But I'm thinking this whole section right through here is like a zigzaggy maze. Although people that have told me there's still some things I've missed over here, so maybe maybe it would be worth a, at least attempting that. Maybe I'll get lucky and stumble across one of the things that I've been told I've still missed. Boom! See ya. One can always hope, right? Right across the yard. Uh, oh, there it was. One of them came back. I heard it. Oh, man. Not my most favorite place in this game still. That's for sure. Boink. Ooh. And jump. Gotcha. Oh. <laughs> still freaks me out when the spider just go all of a sudden spilling out over there. Now, I see that cocoon thing. It almost looks like there could be something there. The one in the, not the top one, but the, the middle one there. It almost looks like there might be something off to the left. I don't know. Navigating my way around through here to go check stuff like that is just not something that uh, I enjoy as much. Deep Nest, I'm always like ready to get in here, just get what I need to get done and then move on. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, you're really, really backing me up here, aren't you? You're like, keep coming, keep coming. 
You just went a little too far, though. Anything? Oh! That's a random spot for some spikes. What? I gotta check that. What was that all about? Oh, there for a second I was like, no! Thought I was gonna land on some spikes. Is there a loose wall here or something? What's the point of the spikes in the ceiling? Hmm. Does that seem random to anybody else? Sure seems random to me. Maybe they, they just know someone like me is just going to jump right up into it. They're like, watch this. He'll fall for it. Guarantee. Oh! You came out of nowhere. Okay. Yep. Keep going across. Oh. Don't do that. Ugh. Now, I have been told that if I can find that spot in Howling Cliffs, or like the DLC content in it or whatever, that it is a spot I could spend some money, so you need to find it. I was like, ooh. I wonder what they have to buy. I'm tempted to go up here and check this out, but I really don't think I need to. I'm almost certain I climbed up and went through all that. It does look like there's a little spot right there on the wall. But I don't know if I'm just like seeing things at this point. I'm like... Oh, nope, nope, not take you off. You know what, we're right here. Let's see. Better to check it now while I'm right next to it than have to try to fly and climb my way all the way back down here again later. Uh, wake up. You're sleeping. Uh. <laughs> What'd you get for sleeping, dude? Okay, I need to keep going up. Ba boom Oh! Oh, that was close. Couple close calls there. close too. Okay. Like I said, I'm almost certain I went through all this, but woo, we're going to try it anyways. Gotcha. Is the floor break here? No. Oh, did you see that? I just barely touched that thing. Oh yeah, that was pretty cool. Whoop, I dodged your spit. All right, uh, all right, I hear you. Gotcha. Ooh, oh, he still managed to get the spit out. Not cool. Yeah, I think I'm certain I went through all this. I mean, I guess it, just because I went through it doesn't mean I didn't miss something, though. I'm going to try to check it thoroughly. Any weak spots? I'm not seeing none. Ooh, hmm. Oh, I remember. This is where I actually came down from above, isn't it? Is this where the mask guy is at? Someone told me that this guy has a different mask on each time you come in. Yeah, okay. He's still saying the same thing. Okay, let's test that. Okay, he's got like a little four, four petal looking like mask on. He's got this thing. Oh. That looks the same. Check one more time. Hello. That looks the same. Hmm, maybe I misunderstood what was... I thought someone said he has a different mask on each time you come by. Alright, he says the same thing there too. Alright. I figured it was worth checking. 
Whoop, not that one. Um, and I think it just all filled in up here. Like it doesn't actually open. Woo, that was close. Oh. Oh. I got robbed on one hit. Nope, nothing there. Hmm. Woo, that's close. Okay, did I see there's a bench right? I can't remember if there's a bench or something right here. Let's check real quick. Uh, it is kind of up there on the left-hand side. I guess I don't really need it, though. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh. Crap. Let's go back up here where it's safe. Is there a stag? Ooh, I could get up to that stag. That might be easier. Versus continuing further into the deep nest. Even though I was kind of doing it for a chance to maybe find... Hmm. <laughs> oh, look at this. There's an opening right here I just saw. I wonder if it's a black barrier. Maybe it's one I ran across before I had the markers. Okay. I want to stay focused on the grubs for the moment, so we're going to go this way. Whoop. Get to that stag and get up to dirt mouth. Whoop. Oh, that was close. Almost hit them spikes. Thorns, I guess, is what these ones are, huh? Oh, I'm ready to hear some music. And what better music to hear than the Queen's Garden? Oh. <laughs> I, I thought I was about to get shot. I forgot they just kind of like, once they're dead, they just poke them out. Ba-boom! Okay. Oh, hello. I don't need you at the moment. Let's go ahead and hit this. Mm -hmm. Yep. I feel like this episode's been so quiet so far because we, we haven't had music in the areas that we're running through. You know what I mean? We got music now, though. And it's a good one. It's a good one for sure. Bam! Oh! <laughs> hey, I finished off my log. That hit was worth it. Boop. Okay, let's see if I can find them real quick. Here we are, the Mantis Traders. Do I got enough of these? Yeah, I got enough of those. Belonging to a tribe or not belonging. I don't really understand what the difference is or how it works. I have no tribe of my own. Aw. Man, look how many of these I've cleared out. Wow, I gotta go to the hive get some more of them big boys I'm trying to see what else have i not finished off yet oh we got so ooh. oh yeah those are the ones that like tunnel real fast and hard okay a couple big boys there we got two more of the lance now i i was told the elegant key that I bought a long time ago. Which one? It, this one here. Uh, I've been told that up there, I think it was in the sanctum area is where this is actually supposed to be used. Well, I guess it says right there. Holiness Soul Sanctum. And glows faintly in the dark. So, at some point, I gotta make my way back up there and see if I can find where that key goes. So we can definitely get this guy probably when I do that. I need one more Mantis Warrior, which I might be able to get from the Coliseum. Cause I was, there's definitely a section where those guys come hopping out there. Moskin, this is one of the lowest early creatures I've come across that I still need so many of. It must be like in just one specific area. Oh yeah, and I still need to go through that. Man, there's still so much to do. I'm so I'm happy about that. I'm more happy about it knowing that there's more story too. 
I, I kind of reached the point where it's like, well, I, I don't want to bother going around just getting all this little bit of information when, you know, the story's over. And the story is kind of not as exciting as I was hoping it was going to be. But to know that there is actually a lot more story that I just haven't found yet, and uh, going around doing all this now, it just makes it so much more fun. I'm pumped. Oh! All right, yep, I, I remember finding that. So I need to go up first. All right, let's hit you. Let's get, let's get the old stack. There we are, and we're gonna go up to Dirt Mouth for now. That ought to work. I'm gonna go talk to some people. Ain't been here in a bit. A long bit, actually. Whoa. Oh. Uh, did you hit them? You, well, I guess she's not really my girl. Hornet's my girl, so that's all you, buddy. What's he saying? But that's not the only danger I had to overcome in my quest for glory. You've noticed this trophy, haven't you? A keepsake from my final triumphant battle deep in the pit below us. Yes, life ender claimed another victim and the crowd erupted in ecstatic cheering. Cheering that was both loud and utterly sincere. To what do I owe my long string of triumphs and victories, you ask? As I said earlier, the key is my personal philosophy, the 57 precepts of Zot. Particularly relevant, here is the first precept. Always win your battles. As for the other 56 precepts, well, precept two, never let them laugh at you. Fools laugh at everything, even at their superiors. But be aware, laughter isn't harmless. Laughter spreads like a disease and soon everyone is laughing at you. You need to strike at the source of this perverse merriment quickly to stop it from spreading. How many is these? Precept three, always be rested. Fighting and adventuring takes a toll on your body. When you rest, your body strengthens and repairs itself. The longer you rest, the stronger you become. <laughs> Precept four, forget your past. The past is painful and thinking about your past can only bring you misery. Think about something else instead, such as the future or some food. It's quite a change. Number five, strength beats strength. Is your opponent strong? No matter. Simply overcome their strength with even more strength and they'll soon be defeated. That works. Number six, choose your own fate. Our elders teach us that our fate is chosen for us before we are even born. I disagree. Number seven, mourn not the dead. When we die, do things get better for us or worse? There's no way to tell, so we shouldn't bother mourning, or celebrating for that matter. My goodness, is it gonna have a total of 56 of these? Travel alone. You can rely on nobody, and nobody will always be loyal. Therefore, nobody should be your constant companion. <laughs> what, Life Ender doesn't count as a companion? Number nine, keep your home tidy. Your home is where you keep your most prized possession, yourself. Therefore, you should make an effort to keep it nice and clean. Precept 10, keep your weapon sharp. I make sure my weapon, Life Ender, is kept well sharpened at all times. This makes it much easier to cut things. Number 11, mothers will always betray you. <laughs> what? This precept explains itself. That's funny. Number 12, keep your cloak dry. If your cloak gets wet, Dry it as soon as you can. Wearing wet cloaks is unpleasant and can lead to illness. That's good advice right there. Number 13, never be afraid. Fear can only hold you back. Facing your fears can be a tremendous effort. Therefore, you should just not be afraid in the first place. I like that. Number 14, respect your superiors. Oh, I'm surprised he's saying that one. If someone is your superior in strength or intelligence or both, you need to show them your respect. Don't ignore them or laugh at them. Number 15, one foe, one blow. You should only use a single blow to defeat an enemy. Any more is a waste. Also, by counting your blows as you fight, you'll know how many foes you've defeated. <laughs> I don't know, he swung at me a whole lot down there. 16. Don't hesitate. Once you've made a decision, carry it out and don't look back. You'll achieve much more this way. 
17. Believe in your strength. Others may doubt you, but there's someone you can always trust, yourself. Make sure to believe in your own strength and you will never falter. Number 18. Seek the truth in the darkness. This precept also explains itself. 19. If you try, succeed. If you're going to attempt something, make sure you achieve it. If you do not succeed, then you have actually failed. Avoid this at all costs. I love how certain he is with some of these things. Number 20. Speak only the truth. When speaking to someone, it is courteous and also efficient to speak truthfully. Be aware, though, that speaking truthfully may make you enemies. This is something you will have to bear. 21. I think he's actually going to have 56 of these. Be aware of your surroundings. Don't just walk along staring at the ground. You need to look up every so often to make sure nothing takes you by surprise. 22. Abandon the nest. As soon as I could, I left my birthplace and made my way out into the world. Do not linger in the nest. There is nothing there for you. 23. Identify the foe's weak point. Every foe you encounter has a weak point, such as a crack in their shell or being asleep. That, yeah, that would be a weakness. You must constantly be alert and scrutinizing your enemy to detect their weakness. 24. Strike the foe's weak point. Once you have identified your foe's weak point, as per the previous precept, strike it. This will instantly destroy them. 25. Protect your own weak point. Be aware that your foe will try to identify your weak point, so you must protect it. The best protection? Never having a weak point in the first place. Uh, yeah, I, I got you there. 26. Don't trust your reflection. When peering at certain shining surfaces, you may see a copy of your own face. The face will mimic your movements and seem similar to your own, but I don't think it can be trusted. <laughs> wow, I can't believe he's actually got one for every one of these. What's she say? Gray Prince, so dark, so troubled. Any chance he's got something different to say? I came to this... Oh, no, nope, that's what he was saying before. Okay. So I have had some people clarify, this isn't this isn't my house. This is her house. And she just uh, apparently is a little bit obsessed with me. Although I see a picture of Zot up there now. Uh-oh. The Gray Prince, heaving heavy breaths. Flushed from the exertion of battle, the figure emerged from the well. Triumph was his and trophy he bore to prove it. The fearsome skull of his vanquished opponent. Startling warning he brought to the village, one that rung so true. Their white savior, thought a hero by the bugs, was a vicious beast, and this shrouded great prince was in truth the hero deserved. With honor and humility he recounted his quest below, his epic journey of one purpose, to find her, to protect her. His gray maiden, his partner in darkness. Aww. Okay, it just repeats. Well, she's moved on from me, but that's okay. Oh, I understand. Anything different this way by any chance? I accidentally killed the guy that would show up right there, so I can't talk to him no more. Okay, before we go into Crystal Peaks, let's see if anybody else says anything. I'll read the rest of his eventually. I don't want to do all 56 right now. So we'll come back to that. Uh, is this... He's still sleeping? Papanada. <sighs> After more supplies? Okay, he ain't got nothing. He tired from his journey. Let's go ahead and hit this. Yo, Elder Bug? Feeling tired. Okay, okay. Yep, I already hit the bench. That's fine. Anything new from... Oh! Where'd you go, Sly? Descend. Uh, Sly, where you at, buddy? What? Give all them, math. So another would join our group. I have a gift for you, warrior. As a shopkeeper, I admit parting with it for free is rather difficult. But as the great nail sage, I must recognize your skill. You have mastered the arts of my remaining pupils. Now tradition decrees you too may hold the symbol. <sighs> Wear it proudly, Nailmaster. You shall be the last to receive its like. Nailmaster glory. Ooh, I shall bow. There we go. Was that a charm he gave me? Oh, right here. 
contains the passion, skill, and regrets of Nail Master. Increase the bearer's mastery of nail arts, allowing them to focus their power faster and unleash sooner. And it only cost one. Are you serious? Mm, yep. We're gonna. Oh, I gotta be on a bench. <laughs> oh, that sucker's getting replaced. Ba Boom! These refined weapons, the battles of Geo, are much deadlier. I agree. Wow, so he was part of the the group that was. That's what's up. Check out that sword he's got there too. Yo, slide. Thanks, man. He was a little rough around the edges at times, but uh, really paid off. Okay. Um. Oh. We'll go right here. That way I can cha change this out. We'll take you off. Now how much... Oh, look how much faster that is! <laughs> yes! Oh, that's a fantastic find. Okay. Let's head over. Although, this isn't exactly the safest way to get into these peaks. I might be better off going below. Let's see where the grubs are at. Let's see where we're looking. Oh, no, actually, this might work. I mean, I got to parkour my way across here, but I, I don't remember being crazy difficult. Whoa. Oh, oh. <laughs> I thought it was solid ground. That's why I did what I did there. And then when I saw the ledge actually had an end, I was like, oh crap. And across. Woohoo. Uh. Ooh, just made it. On across. All right, that's the first stretch. Hmm. Yeah. Onward. I still love this move. It's just so awesome. Uh, have I finished you off in my log? For some reason, I'm thinking I did, but I just want to verify. Yep, he's all finished off. Is there anything in this area? Nope. Okay, I'm good on all... Ooh, I'm good on all the creatures here. Oh, wrong button. Okay, looks like down and to the right to the first one. Boop. Oh, oh, that's close. Oh, I can't believe I actually did not get hit right there. All right, it was messy, but I made it all right. I'm assuming it's another situation where there's like a wall I need to... Oops. Did I just never go through this little passage? I guess I didn't. Oh boy. That's just... Oh. <laughs> oh. oh no. I did it! See, dude. Ah, there it is. I was like, wait a second. Normally you can open these. Oh, I was like, wait, it is not opening. Oh, and it stopped the machines. It's kind of crazy that I never actually went all the way across here. Huh. Okay, well, we'll go back the way we came. That's obviously going to be the fastest way to get to the last grub. Look at this, everyone. We might be finishing off the grubs. All right, whoop, not that one. Uh, I need to go down a wee bit further. Oh yeah, I even see you right there. Clearly I gotta come to you from the other side. Whoa, oh boy. Oh, I thought there was gonna be some kind of a trap right there. Whoa, ooh. 
Oh! Oh, come on. And a crust. It should have started me right there. Whoa. I'm surprised I had not actually done this one. There it is, baby! Oh, got them all! <laughs> Let's go back and see Father Grub. Uh, might be easier just to keep going down, though. Can I keep going down this way? Definitely sounds like a lot of construction going on here, don't it? Oh! Whoa! Aha, uh -huh, you guys are on the other side of that wall. Okay. Boom! I broke your stuff! Alright. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember this little spot here. Whoa! Zope, man. He had some pretty good advice. He was, uh, he was flexing for his girl. I love the fact that there's a, the poster changed. Oh, I don't know if she had a poster of me up there to begin with, but I just love the fact that it was a, a poster of Zoat. Okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We got infection all over the place over here. It might not be as easy to navigate across here as I was thinking it would be. Oh, the failed knight. Me and him, man. I'm definitely going to get my revenge on him. Oh! Oh, I'm running. I'm running circle. Oh, he doubled back. You jerk. <laughs> what a jump. Okay. Oop. All right. Get this over with. Man, that, that faster... Uh... Oh, come on. I was a long ways away from that thing that blew up. What I was going to say, though, is the... Faster recharge is going to take me some getting used to, but my goodness, that is amazing how fast that is. And boom. Boom. Oh, I think that might be what I ran into before. Maybe there's one of those guys up there. Woo. <laughs> yep, just keep going that way. That's where I'm at. Oh, wrong button. Not the button I meant to use, but... I'll run with it. Okay. I just need to go up. And to the left. Oh, man. What a journey it's been trying to catch all these guys. Hello. The whole family's back together. <laughs> oh, there's, there's something. Some more geos. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's ridiculous. Okay, what we got here? King's Idol. Okay, come on. Pale ore. Pale ore. Grub flies. L. Algae? Oh, they got all quiet all of a sudden. What is this? Okay, it contains gratitude of grubs who will move to the next stage of their lives. Imbues weapon with a holy strength. When the bear is at full health, they will fire beams of white hot energy from their nail? <sighs> it costs three, but I totally got to see what that's like. Oh, look at this. We got the whole family together. What an amazing moment. I'll probably have that as my thumbnail in some fashion. Oh, I never thought when I started this game, I was like, there's no way I'll find all of them. But if I could find a good chunk of them, that would be nice. Nope. We got them all, baby. Okay. Uh, let's head back up to Dirt Mouth so I can get to that bench. I want to see what this whole fire red hot beams thing is. Up, oh, please. Okay, let's grab another another thing of wisdom. 
Precept 27. Eat as much as you can. I like this one. When having a meal, eat as much as you possibly can. That gives you extra energy and means you can eat less frequently. Pro tip. <laughs> ah, okay, so let's take... Oh man, I really do like this one. But we're going to take you off. Um... <laughs> I love all these so much. I don't want to take any of them off. I'll have to start chasing down my own geos. That's more of a quality of life thing, so if I had to take it off. Oh well. Alright, let's take you off. Let's check this out. Does it do it with the charge attack too? No, so it only works with this. Ooh. Hmm. You know, I did have some people tell me I'm using a lot of charged attacks and the, the lengthening does not apply to charged attacks. If I took that off, it definitely allows me the freedom to keep some of these other things on that I really like. Okay, but you... What was the other one I had on? Oh, yeah. I might try running with this for a bit. How short is that going to look? Well, I guess it doesn't feel short at all if I can keep full health. That'll be my new strategy. All I'll, all I'll do is just not get hit anymore. Right. I know. Seems really plausible, don't it? Okay. Well, I mean, we're close to the one hour mark, but we're not there. Oh, yeah, we were going to go to Howling Nest. All right. So let's do that. Let's do some exploring, see if we can find this hidden space. All right. Uh, I think Stag's Nest is the one that... Yep, that takes me up there. This is amazing. What a fantastic charm. Just keep full health and I'll be just fine. Okay, I think I found everything through here. I know that I released the first video of me getting up here for the first time. And I had some people say, yo, yo, you missed something. But I did come back in a later video. And I think what you guys are referring to is the, the nest that was over there, which I have found now. So I'm assuming that area is completely cleared up. But if I am still missing something, feel free to let me know in the comments. Whoop. Okay. Hmm. Not exactly sure where to start. Uh, you know what? First, let's go ahead and hit the, uh, woo! Oh, the bench. Just so... I don't know if this is the right way to get to there. Whoop, not that one. Just so I'm up here with my save point, should something happen. Thank you. Okay. Now, let's do some exploring, shall we? I'm pretty sure I checked across this way already. That's wild. Boom! That's going to take some getting used to. Uh, is this going to lead... That's the passage that leads down to the dirt mouth entrance, I think. King's Pass or something in effect. You know what? Let's drop in here real quick just to verify. King's Pass. Okay, there it is. Okay, I don't think that's where I need to go. I'm fairly confident I was told it's up here in the Howling Cliffs. So I'm not going to go any further to the right. So. I guess to the left we go. You know what's going to suck though? Is I'm going to love having this little fire attack I can use but anytime I lose health and I can't use it I'm gonna be like no okay we went through there try going up oh oh I can see right there I ain't got it but if I bring my health back up now I got it back okay I like that okay have I been through here Yeah, I actually just crossed through here as I was coming. Where are you at? Maybe I have not been through. Oh. 
Well, nope, that's nothing, uh... No DLC path there. I'll go back this way. Okay. Anything up? I don't see anything up. It's such an open space. Oh, that actually casts down too. Oh, nice. Ba Boom! Oh, I missed. Oh, you know what? I have not been through here though. I see geos. Okay, let's take a little, take a little look, see. Oh, well, there's where I would have found Cornifer if I didn't find him. I don't remember anymore if I found him through here or not. Oh! Got it. Uh, yeah, this... We, we I guess we've been through here. Because that's showing up on my map already. Sorry, I missed you. Yep. Let me go over here. That's down where Joni's place is? You know what? I don't think I ever got to hit her with the dream nail. Because I didn't have it at that time, so... Let's go check that out here real quick. I don't think that would take too long. What's over here? I guess I go down and around. Come up. Whoa! <laughs> what a dirty trick that turned out to be. Well, one thing's for sure, those of you who hate hate it when I run around with non-full health, I think you won't have to worry about me not doing that as often now, because I'll know every time I don't have full health, I'm like, no, where's my little fire blade thing? Ooh, they dropped right out of the ceiling. You guys see that? Not fair. Nice try, jump. But I can throw my attacks. Whoa! Usually. Excuse me. Whoa. Gotcha. Yo. <laughs> That's fantastic. I wish almost like I didn't have to have completely full health that I could maybe be like down uh like, maybe above half health or something. Or even three-fourths. That would be awesome. Whoa. Oh, this is going to break that, isn't it? But that's where I came in from. Okay, so that's just opening up a shortcut. I like that. It'll make it easier for going back. Okay, I think Joni's place was right over here, wasn't it? Wee. Oh. Listen. Ah, I see you bear my blessing. I can't remember giving it, but my memory has been a little lack lately. Anything else? Isn't it just so peaceful here? Such a beautiful place to rest. Oh. Well, that's nice. Don't worry, I'm not going to hit her with the dream sword. I don't want to make that mistake again. I've already taken out a couple people by mistake. Although some have said, you know, take them out, it's good, set them free, and then others like, no, 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 they're peace, leave them alone. I don't know which side of that fall on that. Some people definitely seem happier than others in the space that they're in. Joni, obviously, is one of those loving the space she's in at the moment. Gotcha. I'm up to almost 15,000 geos. That's a lot of geos. Okay, well, we'll keep going left then. Nothing else to see going to the right. At least not over there. Nope. Is this a path? Nope. That's where we just got geos or something to that effect there. Oh! What have we here? Higher beings, these words are for you alone. These blasted plains stretch never ending. There is no world beyond. Those foolish enough to traverse this void must pay the toll and relinquish the precious mind this kingdom grants. 
What, down here? Oh. Wonders Journal. Great. Oh, that keeps going that way. Shortcut that way. Might as well hit that. Okay, where are we going? Okay, let's see what's over this way. Oh. What have we here? What is this? You look creepy. The corpse of a large bug. Yeah, it looks like it. Whoops. Why did that turn out red? Did it release essence for me to collect? Oh! What did I do? What is going on? I can't move at the moment. What is this? Is the bug still here? What happened? I mean, everything I hear seems the same. Can I touch that? What did I do? Anything else in here? I don't know what it did. That's really weird. Okay, well I activated something. Maybe I've opened up a path somewhere else that I can now go into for some reason. I got over here. Okay, it's gonna go over and down into the green path it looks like. Just check across real quick. Make sure. Hmm. Where's that come out on the green path? Okay, nope, that's not anything I need to do. i tell you what, though. We are definitely probably about the end of what we're going to do on this episode. But I'm not done exploring this place yet. I think what we're going to do is... um, I got that bench right there. Let's go back and hit the bench, let our map update, and then we will pick up right here on the next one. Did anything change up here? Uh, we'll pick up on the next one where we'll continue to explore this area. Because I still need to go further to the left. And see if we can figure out what we might have done. Because... It sure doesn't look like anything changed, but that was a whole lot of stuff happening for, for nothing changing. You know what I mean? Oh. Oh. I had to I had to give up the landing so that I could hit the guy. Okay, we're not too far from the inch, and I've officially crossed fifteen thousand geos, a new personal best for sure, and I haven't even cashed in like all my stuff that I have. I wonder what I would be sitting at if I had it all on me. And I haven't even found the lady that ran off with all my money. She's got like 4,000 geos somewhere. Okay, what's that do to my, my map here? Okay, yeah, it opened something up right here and some weird thing happened right there. 
But that was it. There was like nothing else that really happened. So what we'll do on the next episode is we'll come back right where we were at and we'll finish going left and there's some platforming and stuff up here. We'll keep going zigzagging through there. We'll see if we can clear all that out. If that's what I was supposed to find, I would have expected something more to happen from that. And it didn't look like there was anything else I could do. I mean, I'm looking at this little thing and it does go like up and to the right, but I think that's where, just where we found the message that was like, you know, don't go beyond this point or something to that effect. I don't really remember. But we will inspect more of that on the next episode. Until next time, continue to be safe out there, buddy. I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> <laughs>